Hi, welcome to Thunder Lakes. I'm Micah, and this is our Broadheads of the Week. This week, we got a couple newcomers. Um, first of all, we have the Crown Thorn. First look at these, and the first time I seen them in magazines, I thought they were kind of a joke. But uh, went to the ATA show. A couple of my guys took me over there to see them and talk to them and check them out and actually see them in person, get my hands on them. And I think it's a really great broadhead. I think it's gonna cause some devastating wound channels, which will uh, make your blood trails a lot easier and a lot shorter. Um, it has four sets of blades, so it's eight bladed, as you can see here. It also is 35,000 stainless steel blades on a 7075 aircraft aluminum ferrule. Uh, they come with the tool spare set of blades for them. We'll uh, check them out, see how they spin. They claim field point accuracy. I've seen them in flight, although I have not shot them. And what I've seen, they definitely flew like field points. Put them on here. Got just a little bit of wobble to it, but not much. Um, I think it's because I'm being a sissy about how I put it on here. There we go. And we're getting pretty much a pinpoint there. I really don't know how this thing would not fly like a field point. Um, I can tell you this, I will be testing them out here in the future. And there's a strong possibility that I'm gonna be running those on my rig this year. Secondly, Slick Trick, an old favorite there. It's a two inch cutting diameter. This is a Slick Trick. Uh, Raptor Trick, 100 grain, and uh, this thing has become a standard and a really good broadhead to have in your quiver. It's got a four-sided uh, bone crusher tip. It's running a solid stainless steel ferrule, 35,000 stainless steel blades on this, 100 grains. Um, Slick Trick sends them with little shot collars so you can help align your broadhead better let's see how it does without them put it on there and give it a spin and that's pretty much a pinpoint there i don't feel much vibration at all these are a rear deploying and they do come with extra blades or extra blade keepers the little rubber bands here you go on over top and they're positionable so that you can run them for a low kinetic energy bow clear out here on the end. You can run them for a standard bow. And if you're running for a crossbow, you can run them way back here where it takes a lot more to get through them. Um, they work very well. I've shot them before, I've used them before. They do a good job. Uh, they do have this sharpened up so that it does create a little bit better of an entry wound. Um, that's one of the things that I'm not super thrilled about it is the fact that it is a forward deploying blade. But it does open up and does create a little bit better of an entry wound. It does have a good angle to it and these are razor sharp. I think either one of these broadheads would be a great addition to your quiver. And I think that you could uh, benefit from having either one of them in there. I think both of them will get the job done and do a really good job. Also, we got new t-shirts here at Thunder Lake. Stop in, check them out, pick them up. I don't know about you, but I lost all my guns in a boating accident. Mm -hmm.